Well, it is a story we first brought you right here on News 4 and one you will only see on News 4. A woman with a service dog says they were turned away from a restaurant. So we sat down with the woman and talked about what happened, but we didn't just talk. We got some answers from the restaurant. Call for action problem solver Carice Jackman with the story from Spring Hill. Three-year-old Henry has been assisting Jessica Polson for the past two years, but it was a recent incident in New York that has all of them shaken. Good boy. Can I kiss? Thank you. Wherever Jessica Polson goes, Henry's by her side. You see, Jessica has pastoral orthostatic tachycardia syndrome, or POTS. So I have a lot of um, blacking out. So Henry has uh, not only a response, so he can like retrieve like my husband, um, he can retrieve random people, both at home and in stores. One recent experience in New York still has her upset. The woman at the front desk, the hostess, said um, that he needed ID. According to the American Disabilities Act, an owner of a service dog is not required to show ID for that pet. It was just so embarrassing. It just, we felt like a spectacle, and I don't like to feel like a spectacle. News 4 reached out to the restaurant Friday for answers. Then, this afternoon. That's fine. You can bring him anytime. You can bring him anytime? So why was this dog denied back in December? At that time, we didn't have the right information. The worker on the phone told me after double checking with the health department, they now know service dogs are permitted. The manager apparently told them, yes, you need to show ID and I'm allergic to dogs, which was completely inappropriate and against the ADA law. I don't have all the information for you, but now everybody has been told that if anybody comes in with a service dog, they're allowed to come in. Hearing this so makes excited. Jessica I smile. Really, when I left there, I thought that like, you know, I could want it to change, but it never would. And I am so happy that hopefully every service dog that walks in there after us will have the exact same treatment as everyone else. And that's how it should be. In Spring Hill, I'm Call for Action Problem Solver, Carice Jackman.